this the black holocaust I knew it was prophecy A thousand times worse than your Jewish atrocities Uneven playing field, there'll never be a fair score Cause in 1619, that's when they declare war We the 12 tribes, the ones that the promise re- What's up man? You like the signs? Yeah What you think about the signs? What, what do you think? What is, what's your opinion? What thought comes to mind when you see these signs? Brutality. Who were the who who were the oppressor? Who who created this brutality? That's right. Caucasians. Damn, right? I know. Yeah. Uh, should we forget this? No, never. Never, right? So why do we get ridiculed for keeping telling people that white supremacy is wrong? I got a question for you, man. Let's see if you're honest. When you see these signs, when you see you see brutality, right? Were the people that caused this brutality on earth, were they Christian? They weren't Christian? I, that's just my opinion. Because if they can just look so small. Did they say they were Christian? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they claim to be Christians. People that read the book, that follow Jesus the Christ. Because a Christian is supposed to be someone that follows Christ. Right. right? So these Christians were the perpetrators of this brutality, right? So why should we listen to them today? Do you believe in, uh, uh, are you a Christian? Um, you say, she I'm, said, yeah. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm seeing more of it. Uh -huh. So that's why I'm stopping here. We stopped down there, but that's just a lot down there. It's a lot going on over there. That's, that's a lot of, hey, that's a lot of power down there. No, that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of power over there. Yeah, I appreciate that. Well, listen, here's the thing, right? You agree that the call, the, the people that perpetrated this brutality of so-called blessing Hispanics in the Americas were Christians. We can agree with that, right? That's fair, right? Is that right? So I'm going to give you the two greatest commandments. Give me that. Give me Luke 10 and 25. I'm going to show you something that they teach today. The two greatest commandments, right? And I want to see you if they kept those commandments during slavery. Real quick. Because when you look at the Jehovah's Witness, they had slaves. They didn't let black people into the churches. The majority of all Christians, though, had slaves and didn't allow them. As a matter of fact, they said that we were cursed for having dark skin and woolly hair. They said that. I'm going to show you something. So the two greatest commandments. Let me see if they kept them. Read. 25. 10 and 25? Yeah. This is the book of Luke, chapter 10 and verse 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him. Saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Verse 26, he said unto him, What is written in the law, and how readest thou? And, and so, so Christian will tell you, we're, we're saved. That's what they're talking. Yeah. As they're whipping the backs of black people and Hispanic people, yeah. and raping them, and, and, and selling their children. We're saved, right? Because we keep the two greatest commandments. I'm going to show you something. Read. And he said unto them, what is written in the law? And how readest thou? So the law, right? Read. And he said, and, and he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Now would the Lord God be pleased? Because the Bible says that the true Israelites are so-called blessing Hispanics and that we're going to be enslaved in the Americas. That's what the Bible says. So would the Lord be pleased that all these Caucasians, right, raped, robbed, pillaged, the children of God, the children of Israel? No, he wouldn't be pleased. So how can they love God and they're doing this to Jacob's children? They can't do that, right? Now watch this, another one, read. And with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. Did Caucasian people treat so-called blessing Hispanics as their neighbors? <laughs> so for over 500 years, the Christian church has said, love thy neighbor as thyself. Are they hypocrites? Okay then, we got some, you see what I'm saying? So I would tell you not to be a Christian. That's right? right. So let me ask you a question, where are you from? What's your nationality, do you know? Some more Native American? Okay, well you know that, I'm gonna give you something, give me Luke 21 and 24. Do you know that the Bible prophesied that the children of Jacob were going to be scattered to the four corners of the earth under slavery in bondage, they were going to be slaves to the nations. Did you know that? So, so we have Israelites in all nations of the earth. So you could potentially be an Israelite, potentially. So I'm saying, if you, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so are we? Because I'm not the judge of who's an Israelite and who's not. So I'm simply saying, if you're an Israelite, you got to keep God's law and his commandments. But if you're not an Israelite, you got judgment coming because the heathen partook in this. Everybody took a hand in this. All nations put Israelites in slavery, right? Read this real quick. Read. Just to show you that Israelites are all in all nations. Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 24. Read out. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So see, Gentiles like him are in Jerusalem today. See, he's a white supremacist. He's a racist. He comes over here and takes pictures of us to post his propaganda. On, on, on. No, that's what they do. He's an agent of, he's an agent of Satan. Right. Because that's what they do. Blue eyed, blonde hair, blue devil. See, you're in the spirit. So what I'm saying is I'm substantiating in the New Testament that Israel was going to be scattered in all nations. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't tell if you're if you're a heathen or not. If you're an Israelite, the Bible says keep the commandments and the faith of Jesus, you're you're hopeful to be the elect, right? But if you're not, I'm going to be honest with you. This is what the Bible says about the heathen. This is the judgment that Christians won't teach you. That's what I'm saying. Don't go to the church. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. Right now. Remember, we just read Christ saying that Israel or the children of Jacob were going to go into slavery into all nations. Right? So all nations partook in the in the, the, um, the slaughter of the children of Jacob, right? Now what's the judgment for that? Read. Isaiah 14 and 1. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Has, Chris, has Christianity taught you that the Most High is going to choose Israel regardless of despite? No, right? Now what's this? When he chooses Israel again, when he, when he chooses them again, what's what's going to happen? Read. It says, and set them in their own land. It says, and the stranger shall be joined with them. The stranger, right? That's the heathen. The heathen is going to be joined with us. Now what's with the heathen? Watch the judgment of the heathen. Read. And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. It says, and the house of Israel shall possess them. So the heathen, all these nations that put Israelites in captivity, they're going to be at possession of Israel. Read. Shall possess them, so like it, in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. It says, and they shall take them captive, whose captives they were. So when you read the book of Luke, Christ's words, and you read that, Israel was going to be captives to our nations were well, those oppressors and you said that we made an example just in the Americas alone that this is an Im the imagery is of brutality these brutes and their children are going to be captives for the children of Jacob That's do you right. believe the Bible when it says that you gotta believe the Bible right yeah it is different, right? Do you know that's part of the gospel? You want me to read it? To you? Give me Isaiah 61. Read. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. Read it out. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Now listen, this is New Testament. Read it again, read it again. I want you to hear this because I know you're not. It. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Right? I want you to hear this. Captivity, judgment, slavery is part of judgment. Israel had to go through it. That's the whole when you read the Old Testament, that's all you read. Look, look, all of this is captivity. Babylon, Medes, Persia, Greece, Rome. Christ, Christ lived during the time of the Roman captivity. This was prophesied. So Christianity is not going to teach you this. So kept, they lied to you about it. Yeah, the twist. But I'm going to give you the, whole, the New Testament. What's this? Read. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. Read out. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Isn't that what the prophet Isaiah said? We just read it. Now I'm going to show you in the gospel. I'm going to show you in the gospel. I'm going to show you Christ. Give me Luke 417. Christ read what I'm about to read you. I want to substantiate that this is, we're doing what Christ, we're teaching what Christ taught. So when Christ was teaching the peoples, he was reading the Tanakh or the Old Testament. There was no two Testament. So Christ was reading the, like, the prophets, and the Torah, or the, the laws of Moses. That's what he taught. Right? Now watch this. Read. 
This is the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 17. Bring it out. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Now why you? They don't read this in the church. No. When they ask it, ask it Christian, what's the gospel? None of them is going to tell you I said 61. We're going to read it. None of them are going to do this. They're not. They're going to get, tell you something completely different. Read. And they were delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Verse 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. The gospel to the poor. That could be for the Jewish nation. At all. The Jewish nation is not poor. I'm going to give you another one. Give me Revelations 2 and 9. The poor, right? Who are the poor? We're talking about brutality. I'm going to give you another one. What's this? Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Read out. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. And poverty. Mm. The gospel for a group of people that lost their identity are in the bottom. Were they in poverty? I mean, what's worse than being a slave? I'd rather be poor than be somebody slave. Come on now, read. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. But are what? But are the synagogue of Satan. See, the truth is coming out. Those people in the land are not the real Jews. They're not the real Israelites. They don't look like you and me. Right? Now I'm going to give you the gospel. Give me Isaiah 60 and 1. Or 60, uh, 61. What is it? Yeah, 61 and 1. I'm going to give you. see what Christ read, right? The scroll of Isaiah, and he read the first verse. I'm going to read you the same verse. What's this? Read. Let's see. This is Isaiah chapter 61 in the first verse. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. It says, For he has sent me to, the, to bind up the brokenhearted. Brokenhearted. Read. But brokenhearted, but this land, America, was stolen from the natives. That's also part of the brokenhearted. The natives were also included on slave ships too. Nobody tells them that though. They don't know they were getting. It. You knew that? Yeah. Most of your people don't know this. You got a job to do now. You got to inform them, right? Hold on, real quick. Let's see. My bad. I'm reading you the gospel, we, and I'm going to read you the judgment of what's coming to this earth to all these nations for doing this to the children of Jacob. I'm just going to show you. Read. It says to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty. To liberty. See, people think that because we're in America and we're able to drive to and from, we're able to buy a house, we got a Statue of Liberty, that we're free. But we're not free. 72%, over 72% of the prison population are blacks and Hispanics and indigenous people. When you go to the, to the reservation, what state are they in? Don't they need liberty? I'm just saying. They give them a little piece of land, and every year, that land becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. Am I lying? You ain't considered sovereign. But they're not. If it was sovereign, they wouldn't impede on the land that was promised to them by the oppressor. Come on, man. Buy back what was already yours. That's the gospel. There's a particular group of people that are undergoing a particular condition. This is our hell. Me? Right, so it says to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim. The... <laughs> Sound like a drive I was coming. It says, <laughs> proclaim, <laughs> proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison. Listen, listen, this is the gospel. Were we in prison? We've been in prison for a long time. We were, first we were in chains, now we're in a privatized prison cell. Come on, man, read. Okay. okay, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance. The day of vengeance. So Christians are not going to teach you the day of vengeance because that will mean that they will tell you that the nations have judgment. Read. Now watch this, for who? To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. In who? In Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. See, so when this this government is destroying the ashes of this government, that's going to be beauty for us because it's going to mean our liberation. When the when the Most High, when Jesus Christ comes back, 
He's bring to, he's coming back for judging the nation, and America is going to be under ashes. And their ashes here is going to be beautiful for us. I'm gonna give you the judgment real quick. Go to verse five. Now I'm, I, I substantiate the gospel. Now watch this. We said that captivity, right? We read in the prophet. We read in John the Revelator. Now watch this in the gospel. Read. This is Isaiah chapter sixty-one in the fifth verse. Bring it up. It says, "In strangers." Strangers, right? Remember, we talked about strangers, right? Read. Shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and vine dressers. It says, but you shall be named priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall you boast yourselves. So why don't Christians teach this gospel? Have you ever heard this gospel? You know why? Because they're afraid to teach you the truth. Precept. Precept. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Bring it out. Prepare slaughter for Prepare what? Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Give me the letter uh, of the blood, the blood, the land of blood. The land, the father blood. Go ahead, what you say? Did you read? Did you hear that? So judgment is you got to be held accountable for what your forefathers did. I mean, think about it. If you think about it, let's do let's let's have a, a plausible conversation. Were everybody that went into those slaves, were they bad people? No. There were mothers pregnant with children. There were elderly people in those days, right? So even good people went into slavery, right? But God said, because some of you broke my commandments, you broke the covenant. All Israel has to has to be judged. So don't you think it's fair that God judges the other nations too for what they did? You don't think so? So let me let me let me make it personal. You, where, where are you from? No, where you like you're at, where you go back to? Samoa, right? The colonizers came to your land and they colonized you, right? Did they slaughter your people? Do do. Do, don't your people deserve justice? So what's the difference? You see the difference? See, when we talk about us, it's like, no, it's not fair. But when I make it about you and your people, it becomes fair, right? You see the hypocrisy? This is why the Bible has to be true. Because Christians are going to say, oh, it's not fair. Why? Because Caucasians are there, East Indians are there, Arabians are there, all different nations are there, and they don't want to be judged. But if I tell you what this group of people did to your people, Judgment has to be had, right? That's justice. It's different, but we don't get no justice.